this part is uh, just just play around with what you feel like will work out. So I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it this tall. I'm gonna make it this tall. I obviously don't want it to penetrate the walls. So okay. We're gonna we're gonna change the ball radius to I four is a good yeah, four is a good size. So again people may stop and be like, oh this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm gonna and I'm done with it. But we're not gonna stop there. Um I'm gonna go ahead and add some more in the cloner, go to object, and add about that much. And we're gonna throw a few more effectors. So we're gonna go to MoGraph Effector, uh, random effectors. We're gonna call the first one position, and then the next one scale. So we're gonna make sure both of them are applied, the position and the scale. It'll look wacky right now, but that's fine. So the position, we're gonna go 10, 10, 10, because 50 is way too much. And the scale, we're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna just go to scale, we're gonna make it uniform, or we're gonna make it a uniform scale, and then one. So it's 100% bigger and 100% smaller. All right, so now what we're gonna do is bring down bring that's fine bring it to the side we're gonna add one more boom so it's like super flourished actually let's add some more now it's like super super flourished so if you press F8 boom depending on your processor speed um, it may lag uh, I have a good computer so it's not gonna be that bad um, okay so the next thing what we're gonna do is we're going to make um, the three more colors. Alright, so the two other colors in my specific scene that I picked were come on were red and yellow. You can use whatever you want, but I picked red and yellow because the scene is red and yellow. So we're going to double click this color, just make this 100% red. I'm going to go to this color, make it like lime yellow. I found out lime yellow was a prettier color than than orange yellow. Okay. So now we're going to duplicate the ball, keeping it inside the cloner as a child. And we're going to make this red, boom, and make this yellow boom um, and render it real quick <laughs> um, right off the bat you can see that it's like it doesn't look it doesn't look wonderful I'm gonna change this I'm gonna make it orange yeah I'm gonna make it orange um, so we're gonna change the uh, reflection, the reflection uh, maps in each of these. So let's change this one to 30%, I believe. So changing that to 30%, you think, oh, okay, so it's gonna reduce the reflection, but it's not because the original color is white, and white is 100% reflection. -y. So if I, so if you look at this, it, it is. That, uh, like the example, it is more reflectiony. So we're going to change that to black. That way, that way the sides aren't as reflectiony. So that's good. Okay. So the red, same thing. We're going to change this to black, and then we're going to change this to 50%. I think is a good, good one. Yeah, 50%. I have these written down, but you can experiment whichever way you like. Um, it's going to 90% for the yellow. And let's play it. Boom. Let's get rid of that. Let's just render it real quick. So they're not too bouncy and they're not too um, stagnant. 
Um, okay, so the next thing what we're going to do is you notice everything is very, very, very dark. This is what the tiling does, by the way, all this extra crazy stuff. Which is usually why I turn it off, but we need it for the reflection purposes. Okay. Let's add a light. Boom. Let's bring this back. Bring this up because technically my light bulb is up right about here. Um, we're going to change this 150 because 100 is just not enough. I'm going to render it real quick. Okay, now everything has a light source and everything looks realistic. Um, notice. Occlusion. So by default, it the ambient with the ambient occlusion, it looks like this. If you look at the balls, it's very grainy, um, which might be the effect you want, but I don't. So I would change the mi uh, maximum samples to 120 and the minimum samples to 100. That way, it isn't. Uh, this will be grainy because it's the picture itself. But I'm talking about this over here. So, okay, so the balls aren't grainy anymore. Uh, you can add green like I did in the example, um, but you don't have to. Uh, I also added motion blur in the post. I'm also going to make another light, bring it way down here. Just render it real quick. I just I, I we might need that extra light. See there's two highlights. You might need it, might not. I did. You don't have to. Um another thing, let's 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 show you guys how to bake. Uh actually let's do that right after this. Actually, no. I'll show you how to bake. So you go to the cache in the the uh, the body tag, and you bake all. Now you can scrub, scrub, and it, and it's perfect and it's perfectly perfectly fine. Um, you notice it goes black, yellow, black, red, yellow. That's because it's black, red, yellow, black, red, yellow, just like that. Um, so what you could do is. You're gonna have to get clear the ca uh, clear the cache first, and let's duplicate the black. So we're duplicating the black, keeping it as a child, right here. So now it's just now it's all over the place. Now you think, oh, there's too much black. Add some red in there. Boom. Not enough yellow. Okay, add some yellow. Boom. Let's put the yellow like right here. Let's put some red up here, black right there. Okay, now it's all over the place. Uh, then we're gonna bake it again. Boom! We're gonna play. All right. So then you bring it into some after, bring it into After Effects, and color correct it. Co go from that. Go from this right here to something like this. I put I put some noise on it so it blends in with the noisy background itself. Of course, this at these edges right here aren't perfect, but that's fine. Um, and of course, motion blur. Okay, well, this has been the tutorial on how to. Oh, you can also see the uh, thing bulk out right here. Um, how to do camera mapping and projecting. Um, in an advanced t tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you do, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Inst uh, VMO, YouTube, whichever. If you really like what I do and you really want to support me, uh, you can donate me. Uh, you can donate to me uh, by clicking the donate button on my VMO or my website or YouTube or whatever you like. Um, if not, just enjoy enjoy this free uh, tutorial, and I will see you guys next week. All right, thank you. Bye.